Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts Designs. I've got another tutorial on the hollow bead. I say bead, hollow pendant. It's a two by two. It was a circle in this case. Um, the stamping didn't turn out so well, but still it's really pretty. I'll find something else to do with it, don't worry. This one I'm going to do with the gold Primo. You should be able to see that a little better. Okay, sorry about that. I got about, I don't know, four millimeters of polymer clay. I'm just going to roll that out. Just trying to get it down thin enough to go through my pasta machine. <coughs> so I'm just going to roll it through a couple of times on a, a medium setting on the machine, which in this case is a 4. Now, your machine may run um, 9 to 0 or 0 to 9. They, they vary quite a bit. <laughs> um, so, I'd just say a medium setting. You'll just have to decide what that is for yourself. Alright, I'm going to keep rolling this through till it's conditioned. Then I'll be back. Okay, now it's been rolled out, and um, I've placed it rather carefully on my mat um, because I want to cut squares out after I'm done. This time, I'm using this music note stamp, which I actually got. I'm not sure where I got it. I'm not sure where it came from. So, it's a music note stamp. That's all it is. So, just um, choose your texture. Alright, then I'm going to cut two inch squares. So even if you don't have a grid, just measure it out with the rule. ruler.
just something like that. It doesn't need to be specific. It doesn't have to be exact. Oh my goodness. What a lot of trouble. Okay, I'm sorry. And we're going to do this again. <laughs> if I could have got two out of that, I would. Just like last time. something like that just make sure that it covers around the whole bottom of the circle meaning that you'll have a surface to glue slash bacon bond to And then, like I said, I'll need to do this again. Okay, now I'm going to pop these both in the oven. Um, 275 for an hour. And I know you're tired of hearing me say this, but I do have two oven thermometers. They just double check each other. Um, I do that because ovens are, are notoriously um, incorrect on the dial. Um, the one which is a convection toaster countertop oven. A convection countertop oven, that's what I mean. Um, is off by um, more than 45 degrees, so... That's why the oven thermometer was necessary. Okay. So, I'm going to bake these slash cure these and I'll be back. Alright, they're both out of the oven. As you can see, they held their shape just fine. Okay. So, I've done another square piece that I'm just going to leave flat and it's going to go in between the two pieces alright I did um, do both sides but of course one got flattened out during the, the rolling of the second one Alright, so I'm just going to take a little bacon bond, and I'm just going to Okay, you can see that I've just hit the flat spots, the spots where it's most likely to touch. Just because I didn't want to have to scrape it off my glass again. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> it just keeps wanting to slide. But I'm going to attempt to trim it. Just a little change of plan. I'm going to bake this just like this. And then I'm going to do another layer to put the other side on. I've got something kind of interesting going on here. So, I'm going to go ahead and bake it. Once again, I'll, this time I'll probably only do 30 minutes. Because... Uh, It'll still have another hour in total of baking time, so 275 for 30 minutes. Okay, here they are out of the oven. This is the domed layer onto the flat layer. And then this is the domed layer just by itself. Now, I have rolled out another square, stamped it, now I'm going to put it together. So, putting bacon bond on the flat surfaces. Now, here and here, I don't really have a flat surface to speak of. Alright, so we made an attempt anyway. Yeah. And bacon bond on the back of the flat. Now, as you've heard me say before, I know I uh, differ greatly um, to other artists, but I only um, put the bacon bond on, and I don't smear it out. I leave, I leave it just like it comes out of the tube. It's the same principle as in carpentry. When you glue a mirror to the wall in your bathroom, you leave these air pockets. It creates suction to hold on to the piece. Right. So, now this part will need to be trimmed just a bit. little bit better okay now I'll check this to be sure I'm putting it the right way up. And then I'll put it on. Now, 
Now the bacon bond will, it will bake mostly translucent, so. Okay, when I looked at this the first time, you gotta, you gotta really search around This one will tell you which way is up. Okay. Yeah, and then this one will tell you which way is up. So, now, I've got it positioned the right way. I've got these two rather large, they're 10 millimeter jump rings. They wouldn't necessarily have to be this large. Just however you decide to make a bale. Now I realize so far it's not much to look at. just made a slit just because I didn't want it to press that clay down into the hole so much just using a knitting needle to spread out that bacon bond a bit And then I'm going to go ahead and put another jump ring at the bottom. So I'm not going to concern myself with how the edges look necessarily because I want it to look like um, pages of a music hymnal. All right. So I'm just going to bake this one last time for 30 minutes and then I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the oven. It's already looking like a Halloween, a Halloween ornament, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. a Christmas ornament, isn't it? Now, you could do the same thing with just the circle cutter, meaning, and make a hollow pendant. And then what I did here is I did a smear. Of polymer clay and smeared it into the top of the bottom which gave it a really nice rounded look and then I went over it with some of the Prima wax in um, mm -hmm, bronze age that was the one I used and I love that color it was Bronze Age on black clay. <clears throat> so, same thing here. You could um, dry brush or finger rub some silver acrylic paint or whatever color acrylic paint you want to use. Um, maybe something in green or, you know, something holiday. It could be just another um, color of gold as well. So, like I said, you could use acrylic paint, you could use the Prima Wax, you could use the uh, 
deck of war metallic wax. There's really just a lot of options here. Alright, so let me get something out and we'll go from there. Alright, just for the ease of the video, um, I'm going to go with the Prima Metallic Wax. And this is from the Metallic line. It's the silver. I believe it's called Old Silver. Something like that. Oh, that's so pretty. And then just do the other side as well. Okay, now I would just let that dry for a few minutes. I might even try to add some in between just so that it would show. Alright, here it is, out of the oven, all put together. I just let the wax dry overnight and then gave it a buff with a nice soft cloth. I pulled out one of the pearls from uh, one of my other videos. And then I made a... I just made this with a uh, hand hand rolled bead and then I rolled it on the same texture sheet that I did the uh, hollow pendant from so there it is a double-sided fun holiday pendant and I have no idea what to call it. <laughs> we'll call it a hollow... A hollow pendant. A hollow music note pendant. A hollow hymnal pendant. I don't even know. Anyway, there it is. If you got anything at all from this, please like, share, and subscribe. I've got my social media links listed below, um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, I've got a new Patreon page, so come join me wherever it is, <laughs> bye for now.